Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this new version of the Violin Finger Chart tool that I have made. It works on desktop, both on Mac and Windows, and I have it available for download, and the link for that will be in the description. So in the old version of the Violin Finger Chart tool, you would click on any note on the piano keyboard, and it would show up on the music staff. Well, in this new version, it is the opposite. You instead click on any note on the violin finger chart, and it will show up on the piano keyboard and on the music staff. So a few other features that this has, you can change the note duration for how long the note will sustain. So if you want it to sustain for a really long time, so that is uh, a little bit over 8,000 milliseconds is the maximum sustain. So you can hear that that is ringing out for a really long time, right? Or if you want it to be really short, so a really staccato note, you just bring that all the way back. And now this is getting really messy on the finger chart. So what you can do is either click the yellow button here or uh, press the space bar on your computer and that will reset it. Now there are two different modes. So at the moment it is in monophonic mode, meaning there will only be one note shown at a time on the piano keyboard and on the music stuff. But if you click this button here and change it to polyphonic mode, it will now show multiple notes at once on the piano and the music staff. And this is really good if you want to show intervals or double stops. So here is a major third, and you can just stack it up like crazy. Just fill up that score. <laughs> okay, and let's clear that. Now, the other really cool feature here is that it can play back pieces for you. So at the moment, I only have Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I will have more pieces added eventually. And since Twinkle is in A major, it doesn't have any flats. So I have the flat side of the music stuff covered automatically, so that way you don't get confused. And you can change the tempo. So this is in beats per minute. So the same as uh, what is read on a metronome. So you can have it really fast or really slow. The other thing you'll notice that when you change the tempo, the note duration will change automatically as well. And that's so um, it doesn't sustain too long uh, when you're playing in the fast tempos. and uh, it will sustain a bit more when you're playing the really slow tempos. Let's keep it at a moderate tempo to begin with. And when you start it, it will begin with a four count lead in. So this will blink four times. And then you just click this toggle to turn it on. And you can uh, speed it up while it's playing, or slow it right down. Okay, so that is how you use the new Violin Finger Chart tool. The old version is still available for download if you prefer to click on the piano keyboard instead of clicking on the violin finger chart. I just find that it's really helpful because some people prefer uh, using the piano keyboard in order to learn and understand the fingerings on the violin, or vice versa, they understand the violin but need this sort of a tool to help them to understand other music theory concepts. So I hope you'll find this really helpful in your music learning journey.